हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड अगेन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग अ स्मॉल रिक्वेस्ट इफ एंड ओनली इफ यू आर लाइकिंग एंड इफ यू आर अ रेगुलर वॉचर इफ यू कैन प्लीज स्मैश द लाइक बटन कूल लेट स्टार्ट इट सिंपली सेज दैट यू आर गिवन मैक्स यू हैव टू फाइंड मैक्सिमम सवार सम विद द स्पेसिफिक लेंथ एंड दैट लेंथ शुड बी डिविजिबल बाई के वेरी शॉर्ट प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इट सिंपली सेज दैट यू आर गिवन द इंटीजर आर ए नम्स एंड इंटीजर के नम्स एंड अ के You have to find the maximum sum of any non-empty subarray. Again, make sure this is non-empty because if I take empty and as the numbers are also negative, I can return a subarray sum as zero. But that is not allowed in this case. So you have to figure out non-empty subarray sum of nums such that the size is divisible by k. Now. uh they are given what the subarray is before we go on to the actual examples firstly break it down what we have to do and what we are given we have to find the subarray sum very fast because obviously there is a one very brute force way o of n square time way that will obviously give you tle based on n is 2 to 25 so your first task becomes because obviously you have to find the subarray sum so you have to find the subarray sum very fast that's first task second task is that you have to also find that sum for a specific length because the length will define i when i mean length i mean the size of the subarray will define if that will be divisible by k so i have to also focus on the length of that specific subarray and then ultimately my maksad was to maximize it so out of all the possible sums i have to maximize the sum now if i just go and individually cater all the sub problems i will simply realize that okay to find the subarray sum very fast we know that we have very standard techniques again there are multiple other techniques but the very standard famous ones is prefix sum technique and using segmentary and fenwick tree until unless the question is super hard don't even think of applying these that's a fii to you so the only resolution which comes to us is because obviously the queries are static so i can easily apply prefix sum technique what prefix sum technique simply says if the folks who don't know you have given the array you compute its corresponding prefix sum okay minus 5 will remain as is make sure in the very beginning you have a zero then minus 5 will remain as is plus 1 become minus 4 plus 2 becomes minus 2 minus 3 adding will become minus 5 plus 4 will become minus 1 this is called as prefix sum how this help me this when this is computed any time the persons ask like ask me to find the i to j subarray sum i will go to my prefix sum of j i will go to my prefix sum of i minus 1 and then i will subtract them prefix sum of j minus prefix sum of i minus 1 i will simply get the corresponding result which is minus 1 which is the range sum in this range how it is possible because this minus 5 indicates the subarray sum up till this range the prefix of i minus 1 will indicate the subarray sum of this range if from this range i will remove this range i will be remaining with this range that is how it works okay now you know what the prefix sum is and how you can leverage it to find the corresponding sum the main crux will be to find it for a specific length because length will determine that if it will be divisible by k or not So now my task became to cater and think for the length. I took the same example as given the problem. This is the specific example which is given. I compute the prefix sum, and then the case given as two. Okay, to expand the problem and make you realize actually what the fact is, I added some more elements around it. So I just imagined that you are given some elements. These are the indexes for them, as mentioned here. Indexes. Okay, zero, one, two, three, up to so on and so forth. Then. you are at this corresponding index j now you know that you can only consider the length which is actually divisible by 2 so from this index j let's take on considering the length which is which is divisible by 2 so i will firstly take this length of 2 then this length of 4 then this length of 6 and so on and so forth so what is happening at every index j which means prefix sum at index 8 prefix sum at index 8 i need to consider what is the range sum obviously i want to find the range sum so what is the range sum in this range in this range in this range and so on and so forth and so on and so forth 
which means I will keep on going back. For every index, I am kind of looking back a lot of times. You never know how many times, but considering if the k is very small, considering if the k is very small, then that will be roughly n times you will be looking back for one index, which if you will keep on repeating this, ultimately you will be, you will have O of n square, n square as a time complexity, which will obviously give you TLE. So one thing we realize is obviously I have to look for all the multiples of k, which means 2, then 4, then 6, and then 8. And how it will look like? Obviously like this. Okay. Pref I'm standing at the index j. So prefix sum of 8 minus prefix sum of 6 will give me this specific range sum. Then to get this range sum, prefix sum of 8 minus prefix sum of 4. This thing. To get this range sum, prefix sum of 8 minus prefix sum of 2. This range sum. And so on and so forth. Again, I have not I have not mentioned here, but so on and so forth. Ultimately, if I show you, I am simply saying at this index 8, give me any of the prefix sums, again, obviously in these multiples, such that it has the minimum possible value. Which means I don't necessarily have to go to all the values. I just need, again, somehow if you can give me that out of all these values, what is the minimum? I will simply place that minimum here. Now, how we can think of just placing minimum? If you look at it, you will simply realize if I would have repeated the same thing for different index, let's say six in this case, it will be again look like same thing. Okay, prefix sum of six minus prefix sum of four will give me this range sum. Prefix sum of six minus prefix sum of two will give me this range sum and make sure all these I'm computing only and only for the ones which are actually divisible by k. I'm not even considering others. I'm only focusing on the ones which are, which are divisible by k. Thus, you will simply see if I would have simply maintained what is the minimum prefix sum for these values, I could have simply replaced it. As soon as prefix sum of 6 came, I would have taken this minimum prefix sum, minimized it with the prefix sum of 6 and would have allotted it here. And thus I would have for this range, which means for 2, 4, 6, what is the minimum prefix sum? So you can easily see that how I'm building up the problem. Here I maintained the minimum prefix sum. When I computed it, which means for prefix sum of 6, I will simply re replace it with prefix. Again, minimum prefix sum of something. Again, I don't know what something is, but something. Then I will get the corresponding value, which is the maximum sum. Then Post it, I will update my minimum prefix sum with something by saying minimum prefix, minimum of, minimum prefix sum of that something along with minimizing it with prefix sum of 6. And this will be my new minimum prefix sum, which I will simply put it here, thus getting my answer as prefix sum of 8 minus minimum prefix sum. Again, that's something I will tell you what. So far, we have realized that we have identified a pattern and that pattern looks like that I need to find minimum prefix sum. But I was asking what? What is nothing? But if you look very closely, you are always handling multiple of i. If I show you the length was 2, if you focus on the length of 2, you will simply realize that, okay, that if you are given this specific length of 2, so you will be handling this then you will be handling, like obviously you, you will be handling this and then so on and so forth. So at this specific index, you are handling this portion. Now, obviously you are handling three, one, always they will be in that specific multiple. Okay. Let's say if it is, uh, if it is a, then it will be a plus k, then a plus two k and then so on and so forth, which means if I divide them by k, they will always result in the same thing, which is same thing. That question mark is that same thing. So I realize that for every index, if I divide it, or I should say modulo it by K, then that specific value is actually my question mark, which I was asking you that how will I make them and assign them as equal. Now, again, I will make sure that I'll do a dry run. But before that, there's one small thing which you should have noticed. I was mentioning how will you maximize the sum and why I'm only storing the minimum prefix sum. It is because if you look very closely for any range sum, the prefix sum looks like prefix sum of j minus prefix sum of, let's say i minus one. 
here to maximize your range sum you have to minimize your this value because obviously it is negative so in negative the minimum value you have the more minimum value you have the more maximum value you will get on the left side thus it is the reason i am actually storing the minimum prefix sum cool so now you got the actual crux of the problem and what you are doing now before we go on to the final code i just want to show you that how will you compute it but i will show you along with the dry run in the very beginning again make sure you know the maksad maksad is to actually get the maximum sum for any subarray which is non empty and also its length is divisible by k now as my k is 2 the first general length the, like the first length which actually starts to be divisible by k will be nothing but starting with the index k minus 1 again make sure that's a very important index for us then moving on forward as i go on to the next index which is this is index i is equals to k minus 1 this is index k with index k onwards this will be my specific length so i will be looking off by saying that prefix sum and doing a subtraction with what value obviously with the value of prefix sum of obviously let's say if i am at this index so prefix sum of 2 minus prefix sum of something what does something is as i mentioned we are maintaining we are maintaining that 2 mod k which is 2 mod 2 which is nothing but 0 so maintaining the minimum prefix sum for this modulo value so whenever i am at every index i will maintain i again whenever i have computed its result then i will maintain its corresponding minimum prefix sum by saying i mod k is nothing but this corresponding value which is minus 5 same way which means for minimum prefix sum of 0 will be minus 5 minimum prefix sum for the value of 1 mod 2 which which will be 1 is minus 4 but now you might say Aryan, but this is also one array this is also this is also one array and obviously you are taking in reference minimum prefix sum which means that you are finding maximum sum again the things can be a bit consuming between maximum sum minimum, minimum prefix sum but keep on listening just for two minutes maximum prefix sum you have to find which means you will simply maximize your answer which means maximum sum and the current subarray sum which is actually divisible by k so this is the first array now why i'm so much stressing on this specific index is because this doesn't have anything so either again there are two ways to solve it either you put all these indexes as one based and put a zero separately which we do in the prefix sums or handle this case separately when you imagine that you will have something which and that something is, not, is, is, is nothing but having a prefix sum of zero which ultimately makes us say that your minimum prefix sum for this specific index which is k minus 1 mod k which is nothing but k minus 1 itself should be initialized with the minimum value of zero for all the other indexes I will initialize them with the corresponding max value because max value max max again this is also max this is also max but this will be initialized by a zero just to handle this case right and now as I start traversing for every index which is less than k minus one okay I'll simply keep on iterating because they will never impact my maximum sum because I have never even achieved any such array whose length is at least k so for that I will never update my maximum sum. The only thing which will be updated is nothing but my minimum prefix sum so far for that specific modular value. So it will be nothing but saying that it will be minus five. Again, this should be minimum. I should minimize it as much as possible. Then when I land on to k minus one, I will for the first time update my maximum sum. In the very beginning, maximum sum is minus infinity. Then I will update it with the current sum, which is which is which is minus four. So this is minus 4 which is a so far maximum value then i land on 2k from here my actual journey starts that i will check firstly my current sum 
current prefix like current sum for this specific index how will i find it as i said prefix sum of that specific index minus minimum a prefix sum for that thing which is 2 mod 2 2 mod 2 which is nothing but 0 it says that uh, 2 mod 2 has in the having the minimum prefix sum of minus 5 this will be minus 5 which is plus 5 prefix minus minimum prefix sum is minus 2 it will be a 3 it will be a 3 so i will update my maximum prefix sum with the value of 3 but before going forward make sure to minimize your minimum prefix sum for this 2 mod 2 oh minus 2 okay it will st st still remain minus 5 let's go on next for 3 prefix sum of prefix sum of 3 prefix sum of 3 minus prefix sum of 3 mod 2 so prefix sum of 3 is minus 5 minus prefix sum of 3 mod 2 3 mod 2 is 1 which is nothing but this thing is 0 but again uh, is 0 I never actually updated this thing which I forgot I should have updated it when I went on to 1 which is 1 mod 2 I should have updated this and it would have minimized with the minus 4 so I'll update it with by saying it is minus 4 which is plus 4 it is minus 1 if it is minus 1 oh it is the maximum value but I already have a 3 so I will simply skip it I will simply skip it okay no worries before skipping make sure 3 mod 2 is minus 5 I have a minus 4 update it by saying minus 5 I want as minimum as possible move on forward 4 mod 2 again firstly get the sum which is nothing but uh, prefix sum of 4 prefix sum of 4 minus prefix sum of 4 mod 2 which is nothing but 0 you will get prefix sum of minus 1 with the value of minus of 0 is giving minus 5 minus 5 it will be nothing but minus 1 plus 5 which is 4 yeah i can update it maximize the answer 4 and then before moving forward minimize it with minus 1 oh already it is minus 5 which is minimum so ultimately you got the maximum sum as 4 and you always were considering for all the lengths which are actually divisible by k and this sum of 4 you were able to achieve by taking this specific range sum which gives you the value of 4 as the maximum sum and that's your answer cool let's see the code exactly same as what i mentioned firstly i maintain the minimum prefix sum as i am doing this minimum prefix sum for this remainder thing which is i mod k so minimum prefix sum will never go beyond my k so i put the limit as k then i initialized by updating the minimum prefix sum default value is maximum value but i told you and specifically stressed that for the index k minus one where it is gone yeah index k minus one specifically i will update the minimum prefix sum with the default value of zero remaining are minus infinity sorry remaining are max infinity but this one will be a zero this one will be a zero then i went ahead and was trying to find the maximum sum i will go ahead and say that go to every index update the corresponding prefix sum get the corresponding remainder if the i is more than equal to k which means update the maximum sum by maximum sum and prefix sum which is ps of that specific j minus minimum prefix sum of my remainder which is i mod k and as i mentioned there's one special case when i equal to k minus 1 which is the first time i got the string of length 2 or length k then i will update it with the simple prefix sum you can handle this here also but i handled it separately ultimately no matter what update the minimum prefix sum with the corresponding remainder by saying that minimum prefix sum of the remainder and the current prefix sum value ultimately as you know that you are simply trying on and iterating just once o of n length the time and spaces o of n because of using a new minimum prefix sum as an array cool i hope you guys got it again many people try to explain with different approaches but i loved this one it is a very standard basic intuitive approach so yeah that's it if you like the video please 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 smash the like baby bye bye take care again if you liked it bye bye